up guys and welcome back to another what's it like today's gonna be a really weird one only because it's gonna be what's it like being in a cult huh oh not that kind of cult so it was actually like a weird kind of christian based cult and it was pentecostal i went there from i want to say like early 2012 to like early 2015 or, or 14 2014 so how i ended up going there was one of my friends from school he ended up inviting me out which is like a really big thing there every saturday in the morning time i think at like eight o'clock you have to wake up and go to church and go and knock on people's doors and ask them to come to church which is like there's something every single day of the week and let me tell you if you weren't there every day if you missed any day like it didn't matter what we were doing that day they would call you and knock on your door and be like where the freak are you so what i have here are the telltale signs for a cult no tolerance for questions or critical inquiry so pretty much if you asked a question that was like semi questioning what anyone thought there they would just be like oh you don't have faith you don't have any faith and let me tell you that's so annoying because i'm the type of person that asks a million questions my first day there i asked probably like 50 million questions i was still skeptical while going into the cult here we have unreasonable fear for the outside world such as impending catastrophe evil conspiracies and persecutions oh my goodness they did not let you do do anything everything that didn't happen inside the church was evil even if you went even people at other churches evil it was absolutely just like mind-blowing and they they make it seem like they are like in a perfect society and everything outside of it is just like going to die tomorrow every day is tomorrow the world's gonna end it was crazy here we have there is no legitimate reason to leave former followers are always wrong in leaving negative or even evil so anyone who's left the church you weren't allowed to talk to them anymore like when i wasn't there anymore a couple of my friends were like yeah the pastor said that we're not allowed to talk to you they were like don't talk to him don't do anything with him because he's not a part of us I'm like jesus christ which is crazy because it was like the only human contact you're allowed to have outside of that church is inviting other people to come to the church so anything inside the church is fine except for like even like accountability purposes so not, like, not everything is fine in the church like you're not you're not allowed to ever be alone with another woman even if it's just like talking like if i'm a man and i'm trying to outreach to a woman that's around my age is like sketchy being at her door you should be like um uh, samantha can you please come over here while i talk to this woman because i'm gonna accidentally trip her to her house and we're gonna make a baby on accident there are records books news articles or broadcast reports that document the abuses of the group leader one of their biggest things is don't look us up online it's crazy like when i went there they're like yeah don't look anything about this church up online it's all lies everything that you see it's a bunch of lies and it's the devil like that is your thing for anything it was just so crazy it's just a crazy experience being in a cult like that but i was still i was young i was like 17 years old so i didn't really know much better on the other hand the way they control stuff like that is you're not allowed to read a book unless it's approved by the church you're not allowed to own a tv or watch tv or watch movies like i can't even remember some of the things is that you can't indulge in anything if the church didn't give you permission they even would like try and convince you to not go on vacation so you're not away from the church for too long now let me just tell you it was like sunday you have to go to morning afternoon service monday they'll have like some sort of practice that you're not required to go to but they're like they hope to see you there tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday i can't even remember all the dates it was so long ago i think it's like been four years now but i remember i was there every day for like almost two years if i wasn't they would be calling me calling me calling me calling me coming to the door i've been like why don't you come why, where were you at? There's also some of the people that go on forums and YouTube videos to talk about their cult in a really nice way and make it seem like what you're saying is a very big lie. They're like, they're like bullies and like really passive aggressive. Like they'll never say yes or no, but they'll be like, I don't want to be the one to not do that. Or wow, I hope you don't do something like that. And you're just like, oh my God, what am I supposed to do? Just, to, I'm like, I just want to be like, just tell me what to do and what not to do. I'm in the cult, just tell me, I'll do it. But since then I was kicked out for like my choice of relationship. They didn't like it, so they kicked me out. Maybe kicking everyone out. I do know some people that still go though. Some people are even like on the fence. They go sometimes, they go, they don't go sometimes. But it's just like, if you don't go, they make you feel so guilty. They'll just bully you to make you come back. And then you come back and you're like oh i guess i'm here they'll do things like try to make you change your job to fit the church's schedule like they'll try and tell you to tell your kids not to play video games not to watch like the news not to watch anything on tv obviously you're not allowed to have a tv they tell you like what like i brought my mom and the thing she got mad about was like he was saying how you shouldn't go to the gym because there's sin at the gym he was like you can't do anything if you you can go home read your bible go to sleep wake up eat and 
and then come to church and that's it that's the only things that you're allowed to do if they're not contributing to the church exactly then you're pretty much just sinning but while i was there it gives you like i, I don't know how to explain it it's almost like it gives you like a sense of wholeness like that's why people join cults right they're like you have you need something to do or you want something to do or you feel like empty so they bring you in and they'll they'll talk to you and they'll like give you things if you need things but then you're you're on the opposite end of you just received some things so now you got to give back to who just gave you stuff so now you just accidentally entered the pool of being bullied and have to bully other people to get things and bring them in it's hard to leave with a freaking track you down or freaking be talking about you i'm sure they're talking about me to this day they do have this weird way of backstabbing like some of their most loyal people though it's kind of confusing but someone like me will be like oh i came in i just like talking to people obviously i just like talking like you never shuts up i like talking to people and i would bring people almost every single service but still if like people if enough people of the people i brought didn't get saved they're like well obviously you're more in tune with the world and talking to people and you like just going out there and talking for yourself and being about yourself and obviously you're not trying to get them saved i'm like jesus i'm trying so pretty much at the end of the day they say they have like a hole in your heart that's shaped in this way that only they can fill and then you come and then they make you feel even more like poop it's kind of weird it's like two extremes they're like you're amazing in god's eyes but in, in their eyes you're like a piece of doodle squirt that just came into your dog's butt all in all i wouldn't take it back for the world just because i mean it was a good time in my life to learn about a lot of different things i was still i was really impressionable at 17 years old Oh yeah, the name of the church that I was going to, the cult, it was called Victory Chapel. And like, I tell you, they wanted me to become like a pastor and everything and go make my own mini cult and stuff like that. Instead of like making like mega churches and like making their congregations that they already have bigger, they pretty much send out like their best people, like their most hypnotized cult members, and they go make their own mini cult. So they are always like, yeah, we have like 2,000 churches. But like really, like once people leave, they're like, wait a minute, the freaking real world isn't that evil as you guys said it was. So then they end up just like leaving all together and they're like, screw that, I'm going back to normal life. It's kind of not bad. But yeah, that's how I ended up in a cult and being in a cult. And like, how it was but let me tell you the best thing was i know i was just about to end the video the best thing was uh, about being in the cult was uh they're called saturday night scenes and pretty much you just like put on a play and you know me like liking to be in front of a camera like being in front of people or something i would be like yeah me yeah i'll do it every time like we would do a play i would just love doing the play it was like everyone sitting down and be like whoa <laughs> that's it for today's what's it like if you guys have any suggestions about what i should do in the future for what's it like just leave it in the comments goodbye <laughs> Wait a minute, I forgot to do the whole um, begging for likes and subscribers and stuff like that. So like, share, and subscribe. Sorry, I, I forgot to beg. Oh, come on. Oh, all right. Bye.